I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Latino Heritage Tree of Life kitty. I take one finger at the top and I put a dot. And from that dot, going towards the right, I draw a slightly curved line up, down, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, slightly curved line up, down, and leave it floating on the left. Right where I stop, I'm just going to continue, curve line, over, connect. I come back down here to the left and I draw a straight diagonal out, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Right at this point, I draw a curve line up, flat oval, leave it floating, come on the left side, curve line up flat oval and leave it floating. I come back to the right and I draw a curved line down, come back to the top, curved line over, down, connect, come on the left hand side, curved line up, down, connect, curved line out, in, connect. Come back to the right, one, two straight lines, Come back to the left, one, two straight lines, inside one dot, inside another dot. Come over to this space, one dot, two dots, little flat oval, straight line, curve line to the left, straight line, curve line to the right. And I'm just going to color this in, this little flat oval in right now. Okay, now I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a curve line down, come back to the right, curve line down, right about here, straight diagonal, curve line over, straight diagonal, curve line over. Come right here and put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in. Come back over here on the left, out, in, out, in, and leave it floating. Because now, right here where we stop, we're just going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right. Starting at the bottom inside, one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines, one more if you can fit it, one, two curved lines. All right. Now there's a lot of drawing on this, so I would do drawing session one and then coloring session two. All right, starting on the left, I come up here and I draw a curve line, curve line, connect. Then I draw a curve line, curve line, connect. I come inside and I draw a curve line, curve line, connect. And if you can fit it, curve line, curve line, connect. Right here, add in the left, curve line, curve line, and inside this space, curve line, curve line, connect. All right, come over, jump over to the right, starting at the top, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. Right here, little curve line, little curve line. Inside, curve line, curve line, connect. Come down here, we're going to work our way down so we don't get goofed up. One baby circle, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Jump over, 
one baby circle, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. These are kind of symmetrical, kind of, not totally, but kind of. Now we come down here and we draw a big curve line out, back, connect, come down a little bit, big curve line out, back, connect. Jump over, we're going to do the same thing, kind of, on the left, big curve line out, back, connect. One more, big curve line out, back, connect. Now, on the left, one, two straight lines. Come up to the top, curve line in, connect, in, connect, right next to it. Big curve line in, connect, in, connect. Come down here, one curve line, two curve lines, one curve line, two curve lines. Now, if you run out of space, don't flip out because we all draw differently. And some people are going to be able to fit everything, some people won't. I myself sometimes don't. All right, now come on the right side, straight line down, curve line up, in, curve line, connect. Straight line down, curve line up, in, curve line, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. All right. Now, we're going to come up, and right here, I'm just going to draw a curve line. One, two, three curve lines. Little curve line in, out, connect. And on this side, I'm going to try and do the same thing. Curve line up, in, connect. Little curve line, connect. I come down, and on this space, I'm going to draw a curve line, connect. Curve line down, connect. One, two straight lines, dot. Jump over. I'm going to do curve line up, curve line out, up, connect, one, two little straight lines, dot, dot. I have no idea if I've drawn everything. I think I have. We always find out when we start to color. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this has a lot of colors, and you may use any colors you wish. These are the colors that I used. I have a multicultural beige apricot crayon. And amazingly, I am going to color all of the spaces around the colors that I'm going to be using. And you might go, why is she doing that? And that is because this helps me kind of see where I'm putting color. Now, it's always amazing to me how many color combinations you can find in Latino art. And the combinations are so intense sometimes that you can lose your way. So we're just going to go ahead and take this first color this way. Some of you might say, hey, I don't have multicultural crayons. Okay, you can leave it white, which is perfectly okay, or as a substitution, I like yellow. But it's your choice. You're the artist. So right off the bat, now we can see a little bit better what we're doing. Next, I'm going to color everything that I want to color by the color, which means if I'm using blue-green turquoise for these guys right up top, when I come down and I find my next set, guess what? They're going to be blue-green also. This gives my drawing balance by color, and it also helps me not get confused. And we all know I'm easily confused. Next, I'm taking pink, and if I see this kind of space. I'm going to color it pink and if I do it on the left I'm going to jump over and do it on the right. And again this is so I don't 
get confused. Now, the other thing that's important, see I have one here I'm coloring pink. This space I'm coloring pink. I think that's it. Now I'm doing yellow and oops, I know what. Let's do green next so that you can see your tree of life. So this is green, this is green, this is green, and this is green. And this is why I said, I suggested that you should draw in one session and then come, whoops, come back and color in a different session so you don't lose what you're doing. You will do a way better job than me. These are green. This is basically the spaces that are supposed to be vegetation. So this is green, this is green, these are green, and this is green. Okay. Now, I take my yellow and my orange. I'm going to do this space orange and this space orange and then I'm going to do this space yellow and this space yellow and I'm going to do my stripes these spaces yellow okay and I'm going to do this space yellow and this space yellow and this space yellow, and this space yellow. Then, using my orange, I'm gonna come down and do this space orange, jump over, and this space orange. And see, now that I'm starting to color, I forgot these should be green. This is what I mean, as you color, you notice, oops, this needs to be green, and this needs to be green. Okay, now I'm taking my red, and this space should be red, and this space should be red, and this space should be red. The next space I put purple, the next space I put red. The next space, I put regular blue. And the last space, I put brown. You can change these colors. These are the ones I use. It's up to you. You are the artist. Any color combination works. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is come back in. And using my multicultural crayon, just draw some straight lines around my picture so it doesn't look so white. You don't have to do that, but I suggest it. And if you don't have this, remember you can always use yellow. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Latino Heritage Tree of Life kitty. Many countries have Tree of Life, but this is for Mexico. They um, are taken from Maya, Aztec, and Mixtec tribes, and they revert trees. It's used on Day of the Dead and also given to newlyweds as a wedding present. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>